So this is a video which is gonna explain the best process for taking sales deposits within Deer Inventory. So this is used in a situation where you might take money from a client before you'd issue them with a tax invoice, um, either to release goods or to uh, commence shipping or similar. Um, firstly, just note if you go to settings and then reference books, um, there's a section called account mapping, which is important for this particular process. So within the account mapping section here, um, there are some defaults, including here suppliers deposits and customer credits as well. It's important to have those set up. The other thing to note is in settings and general settings, you may have uh, one setting in relation to sales quotes turned on or off depending on your specific needs. So here under the sales process, we have quote skipped by default. So here I'll go into a sale and place a new sales order. And that skip quote option is gonna be very important here in order to correctly take the deposit. So here I'm just going to pick some information just to get the order in nice and quickly. Um, and I'm going to untick the skip quote option. If you had your general setting the other way around, you won't need to do this. And you'll see here, that this gives you a customer credit option at the bottom, which is effectively a deposit. So here, I'll just go and um, place some orders for this customer. So let's say they want 25 of this. Um, it's gonna be just under $500 and authorize that quote. Now we have no order, no invoice but I can add a credit at this point or effectively a deposit. So I would click on the account. Just notice that that deposit account has um, filled automatically based on the first setting I showed you. Uh, pick, up, pick the bank account the money's gonna be going into and the reference that they paid the deposit on. And let's say they paid a hundred dollar deposit here. So that's now been created here um, automatically. So it's gonna be a transaction between the bank account into a prepayments account or a clearing account. The reason for this being, and at this point, I'll mention that we are not tax accountants, uh, but the reason here being until you have issued an invoice, it's not a tax transaction, therefore it shouldn't be shown on your sales ledger or similar. So that's the quote with the payment. What you would then do is generally you would leave this order and maybe await the products coming into stock or similar. Uh, then when you continue through the order, you just place it as normal. So you'd copy from the quote area and authorize. Uh, maybe pick pack shipping as normal. And then here you would get to the invoice and Oh, that's not what I wanted, my apologies. Um, pop the invoice date in, due date fills out automatically. Uh, authorize the invoice and you'll see the customer's got a deposit for the sale. You can just click yes to allocate it. And you've then got a nice clean invoice for $470 with the $100 deposit already there and the balance due, and that will show on your templates and similar if you're gonna print an invoice for the customer or email them one. Hopefully that helps, and as always, any questions are welcome uh, in the comments or directly to us at Waypoint.